Hello, it's Katie here from Vibro Sound. This is a quick video on some questions that I often get asked is, do you have the frequency for the chakra, for a chakra on your soundtracks? And while I think it's really nice to think that there is one specific frequency for the root chakra, um, from a scientific perspective, if you understand that the way sound travels and the way that sound works is based on, um, I guess, the the sound wave traveling through the air, the medium of the air, the medium of the body, um, bouncing off the wall, so the acoustic resonance of a space will change the way that the um, vibration is received. If you think about how everybody's body is different shape and different size, different frequencies are going to resonate at different parts of people's body. So if you think about the base of your body, women with a pear-shaped body are going to have a different acoustic resonance and vibratory rate of the base of their body than someone who is a tall, thin person. Um, if we all had the same chakra size and system and energy flow, um, like we'd all have the same sounding voice because our voice box would have the same dimensions and uh, resonance of that space. So I really encourage people to think about incorporating um, some critical analysis of why the information that you read on the internet, if that could be true. Um, I think it's also the power of intention. If you feel like 528 hertz is like your heart chakra and you breathe that frequency in and you're like, this is it. That's amazing. That's definitely you guiding that sound to this intended part of the body. Um, the chakra series that I created, I just found the middle note between the range of red as a frequency. Um, and then I just channeled intention and holographically visualized the, the energy body as I sent the sound waves into for them to be delivered to that part of the body. Um, and also there is a frequency range that the chakra system would be in. Um, a great way and test for you to find out um, the frequency of a chakra is doing a frequency sweep. So that's essentially making a sound, making a vibration, a wave, at the highest part of your body and feeling where that noise note vibrates through your body when you feel the vibration it means that you're hitting the resonance of that part of your body <laughs> i can't reach all the way down there you can feel when the note vibrates that part of your body you have to kind of become more aware and confident using your voice and connecting into the physicality and energetics of your body um, which most people are people are coming very attuned um, but you can find the resonance and i would recommend getting like a tone generator up on your phone and where that vibrates in your body just capture that note and see what that resonates for you um, so yeah, definitely understanding that I don't feel like there is just one blanket frequency for the throat chakra, especially definitely not one note because everything has harmonics, everything has a structure, um, law of octaves. You can use, um, all of the octaves of say 528 Hertz, you divide it by two, you times it by two, you're finding all of these different octave frequencies and layering them on each other. Especially when I see into the energy body that all of these patterns, it's never just one. The shape, the base chakra is never just red. And my perspective of the chakra system is not that it's an, it's not that it's a sound or it's a color. It's more that it's a vortex of energy that is pulling information in from our external um, world. So it pulls and draws in like a cone, almost light frequencies from the sun, from the trees, from, from your environment. It pulls in color, light, sound, information, um, energy. You're picking up on subtle vibrations of people's emotions and that's how you're creating a tangible effect to um, create, I guess, awareness in social, social scenes and settings. Um, so it's taking in these frequencies, these energies, these lights, these sounds, and translating them into energetic currents, which are then feeding the mechanisms of the physical body. So I know it's fun to look up frequencies on the internet, and I think there's a range of them, and I don't want people to feel 
are very much attached to there is one this and where is one that. But I also want people to feel liberated in the fact that it doesn't matter. If you want to send that signal, your intention is so powerful. Your consciousness is driving, your awareness is driving the mechanisms of your physical body. You can regenerate any part of your body with your mind, with your intention and with some directed sound current and energy. So I hope that's both uh, insightful and uh, inspiring for you to start to connect to your own body with your voice, to find your own frequency and to see how different sounds affect your body and where it affects your body. Thank you.